Hi everyone. I think it's 7.05 already, so I shall quickly start. Good Monday evening to everyone. I hope you have a great start to your week. I had an exciting weekend, you know, after our AutoWell Plus soft launch last Friday. I thank everyone for the overwhelming support. Today, I will share what is AutoWell Plus, the risks and returns, frequently asked questions, and finally, how to get started. Okay, for those of you who are watching my webinar for the very first time, my name is Tai Zi. I am the CIO of AutoWealth, a company that I co-founded more than five years ago. I am very passionate about helping everyone and anyone achieve your financial dreams, no matter how big or how small they are. And many of you know this, whether you invest $3,000 or you invest $300,000, the AutoWealth team take pride in advising and managing your investments. Before AutoWealth, I worked for our Singapore Sovereign Wealth Fund, GIC, and then a macro-driven hedge fund and a family fund. All in all, I bring together 15 years worth of experience in managing investments. I want to set the context for today's discussion, okay, because AutoWealth Plus is not suitable for everyone, unfortunately. So to set the right context, we advise everyone to first Build your foundation by setting aside an emergency fund to hedge against unforeseen curveballs in life. And after you have set aside an emergency fund, you then start investing towards achieving your essential goals in life, like your housing, your children's education, or your own retirement. After you have carved out your commitments in these essential goals in life, you then use the excess funds to invest towards your aspirations. So these aspirations could be, for example, owning that supercar, that Seaview condominium, or that shiny yacht in the sea. AutoWell Plus is designed specifically to work towards such aspirations, and you should only invest after you have set aside adequate commitment towards your essential goals in life. So now, what exactly is AutoWell Plus? AutoWell Plus is an offering that features curated and robustly designed thematic portfolio solutions. Four of them at the current soft launch. Besides users with aspirational financial goals, AutoWell Plus also appeals to advanced users who desire to express personal investment views through our curated thematic portfolios that satisfy our own rigorous risk management tests. One of the key value propositions is the potential to earn high returns. With AutoWell Plus portfolios that exhibit double-digit returns over the last few years, your aspirations of owning a cool luxury housing or that shiny yacht in the sea are no longer far-fetched dreams. However, I will want you to note that any references to past performance are not necessarily indicative of future or likely performance of your investments. Now, this is something which is very innovative. AutoWealth Plus features a groundbreaking fee structure where AutoWealth will co-share part of the risk by only charging an annual performance fee of 8% on profits in each calendar year and fully absorbing all other costs, including your brokerage fees, exchange clearing fees, and custody fees. If the AutoWealth Plus portfolio is not in a positive returns position for the calendar year, there would be no fees and charges. We will absorb all brokerage fees, exchange trading fees, and custody fees regardless. As you can see on the right hand side, this is an illustration of how the annual management fees would work. Okay, so for example, if you look at the first year, if the portfolio makes 10% on $10,000, that is to say $1,000 of profits, we would charge $80 a year. If the second year, it happens to be a down year where there is no profits, we would not charge any fees. And we would cover all the costs, including your brokerage, clearing fees, and custody fees. Now coming to the third year, if the markets have rebounded and your portfolio have went up 5%, you would see that we would levy a $42 fee on your portfolio. So if you notice, there is no high watermark feature here. 
Later on, I will go into the question, why do we not have a high watermark feature? So keep that thought. Another value proposition that we always have, you know, this is not unique to Auto L Plus, but unique to all our products and our offerings is that Auto L Plus makes complexity simple and easy to understand. Auto L Plus is fully managed. So you don't need to have any advanced investing knowledge, tons of investing experience, or spend precious time trying to figure out your investments. All AutoWell Plus portfolios would have went through rigorous portfolio construction, ETF selection, and stringent risk management stress tests. I will now go through the four different portfolios that we have at the current soft launch. The first portfolio is the Future 2050. This portfolio focuses on futuristic multi-decade macro trends. It has a high allocation to technology, about 58.3% allocation, and second to healthcare, which takes up slightly above 30% allocation. The last 10% is our risk management allocation, where we will allocate to minimum volatility companies that are relatively more defensive. Now, why do we make such an allocation? Technology as a sector reinvents itself. In the past, the giants of technology may not be the giants of today. You will see that there are many new names that comes out day after day and year after year. So the index and the ETF itself will constantly rejuvenate to always hold the largest and the most emerging and upcoming technology companies. Healthcare, on the other hand, is a multi-decade imbalance. Today, we all know that there is aging population across the whole world, regardless of whether this is a developed economy or even emerging markets like China. And therefore, there will be a strong need for healthcare and healthcare companies will definitely benefit from this macro trend. At the bottom right-hand corner, you will be able to see some portfolio summary. I will bring your attention to the total holdings. Each of our portfolio are diversified across hundreds of stocks at least. This is for prudent risk management. You would also notice that there is a risk statistics on the bottom right-hand corner. Analyzed volatility shows the dispersion of your returns and portfolio values and it measures both the upside as well as the downside. So while the higher number indicates higher risk, but it also indicates a higher fluctuation towards the upside. That's something you ought to know. The maximum temporary drawdown, on the other hand, only measures the downside. Some of you have asked, what is the value at risk for these portfolios? The maximum temporary drawdown actually denotes 100% value at risk. It means to say, in the worst, worst case scenario that can happen during the period of measurement, which in this case is the last three years, it shows the absolute worst case scenario from the peak to the bottom. And most of the portfolios you will see, in this case, it will be the COVID sell-off. I need to say, more or less, it measures 19 of February, the peak before the whole COVID sell-off happened, until 23rd of March, plus minus, which is really the bottom of the COVID sell-off. Okay, so from peak to bottom, this portfolio declined 32.42%. Now, I'm sure many of you will be wondering, is this a huge drop? How risky is this portfolio relative to uh, stocks in general? Let me give you an indication. During the COVID sell-off, MSCI All Country World Index which is representative of global stocks on aggregate. It declined 34% from peak to bottom. Okay. So for this future 2050 portfolio, you will see that generally the decline is somewhat in line with global stocks on average. And here you would also see the sharp ratio, which measures what is the returns of the portfolio less the risk-free rate, which is basically holding government bonds, five-year government bonds in this case, and divided by the annualized volatility. Okay, so this measures what is the returns 
on the top divided by the denominator, which is risk. So it gives you a certain level of understanding for each unit of risk, what's the kind of returns that you can get. And of course, the recommended investment horizon is going to be five years. These are portfolios that work towards your aspirational goals in life. Therefore, you should invest for the long run. You know, that shiny yacht in the sea is not going to happen overnight. You got to be disciplined and it takes time to achieve that. The second portfolio is the future of digital economy. I noticed that many of you have selected this portfolio or in your Auto Wealth Plus selection. Now, this portfolio similarly cap capitalized on futuristic multi-decade macro trends. And we are looking at very niche industries. For example, FinTech, where it covers new finance, digital wealth management, like for example, Auto Wealth, you know, although we are not listed, but there will be some, some counterpart globally that are listed. It also covers e-payment, peer-to-peer lending, as well as digital banks. Now, the second allocation is to internet companies. These companies will cover the whole macro trend of the shift towards cloud, mobile apps, and localized services. And the third piece is allocation towards e-commerce. E-commerce have today disrupted our traditional retail. When you go to the mall today, you know, most of us, we just window shop. And at the same time, we take out our mobile phones. You know, I'm also guilty about that. I'll take out my mobile phone and I will check Taobao, whether I can get the same goods at a cheaper price or Amazon for that fact. What I want to say is that today, a lot of retail are dying because of this disruption. And this is something which we can't stop. Again, the last piece, 10% allocation towards minimum volatility companies for risk management purpose. For this portfolio, you will notice that similarly, it is diversified across hundreds of stocks. So it is quite a, a robustly diversified portfolio. Now the risk statistics, analyzed volatility, we are looking at 30.39%. So you will notice that for this portfolio, the analyzed volatility is slightly on the higher side and the maximum temporary drawdown, 37 over percent. This is higher than the 34% observed on the MSCI All Country World Index. But also, since you are taking on a higher risk, you would be able to notice that the sharp ratio is higher at 0.91. The third portfolio is the pandemic turnaround portfolio. As the name suggests, this portfolio capitalized on the multi-year pandemic turnaround that is going to happen this year, next year, and the next few years. It rides on the recovery in consumer discretionary spending like luxury goods, car, real estate, lithium companies, and clean energy demand that are accelerated by Biden's economic plans. If you watch Biden's speech, he talks a lot about clean energy and the government intends to spend a lot of money on this area. If you also notice, the EU pandemic recovery plans have included a sizable budget into clean energy infrastructure spending. So these companies are likely to benefit from these macro trends. Next allocation is towards aerospace spending and air transportation. We all know that today there are very little flights flying. You know, I stay along the East Coast Park I observe the amount of flights that fly past us. I know that airline travel has not fully recovered, but we are betting on the recovery for the next few years. And when it happens, it will happen in a very strong way. This is why we have selected a small allocation towards aerospace, okay, which at this point of time would have some revenue coming from maintenance and operations. When the recovery on flights happened, it will then rebound in a very big way. Similarly, the last 10% is towards risk management by investing into minimum volatility companies that are more defensive. You will notice that the annualized volatility is about 25 over percent. You will notice that the maximum temporary drawdown is the highest amongst the four portfolios. It declined 39.75%. And it is no wonder 
don't be alarmed by it because this portfolio precisely is the most badly hit during this COVID sell-off. Therefore, we are betting on the recovery to be much stronger than most other sectors. The last portfolio is growth and momentum. Some of you know what is factor investing. It capitalizes on companies with favorable characteristics, growth, momentum, and again, minimum volatility. So when we talk about growth, what is it exactly? We are looking at the whole market aggregate. We see out what are the companies that exhibit above average earnings growth and above average profitability. Momentum ETF, it sees out the companies that have exhibited persistent risk-adjusted excess returns. So in a way, this focus more on the technical part of the share price movement. Again, the last piece will be towards the risk management. You will notice that this portfolio has an analyzed volatility of about 24%, a maximum temporary drawdown of 32.5%, which is marginally below MSCI All Country World Index. Here's a snapshot view of Autograph Plus value propositions to you. I will now go through some of the FAQs that we have received over the last few days before I will share how you can sign up in three simple steps. So first off, what is the minimum investment amount for each AutoWealth Plus portfolio? It is $10,000. And the reason is because AutoWealth Plus is a high risk, high returns offering that works towards your aspirations. It is only suitable for investors with significant idle cash and unwavering holding power. If you encounter difficulty, setting aside $10,000, you are strongly recommended to reconsider whether to even start investing using AutoWealth Plus. Question two, can I reallocate my funds in AutoWealth Starter to AutoWealth Plus? I have covered this right at the start of this webinar. AutoWealth Plus is designed to complement AutoWealth Starter. AutoWealth Starter looks at your essential goals in life, which is very, very important. Your housing, your retirement, your children's education. These are things which you cannot compromise. Therefore, always make sure that you are adequately covered and adequately committed towards achieving these essential goals in life. If you have excess idle funds, then start considering AutoWealth Plus. So in short, you know, we strongly recommend that you do not reallocate your funds from AutoWealth Starter to AutoWealth Plus. I will also add that AutoWealth Plus is only open to existing users of AutoWealth Starter. Next question, can I set up regular investment top-ups? Yes, you can, just like AutoWealth Starter. Please consider a minimum $500 equivalent of top-up amount because several ETFs are priced above US $300 per unit. And when you do your fund deposit, please inform your wealth manager of the date of the month for monthly regular top-ups or the day of the week for weekly investment top-ups. And the amount of top-ups and for which AutoWealth portfolio, AutoWealth Plus portfolio, if you have multiple AutoWealth Plus portfolios. This is important so that we know which funds are supposed to go to which portfolio. Next question. Is there a high watermark feature in the fee computation? No. The fee structure is deliberately designed to be simple and easy to understand. The annual performance fee has been set at 8% on profits after we have considered taking away a hypothetical high watermark feature. How are the fees computed if I have multiple AutoWell Plus portfolios? The annual performance fee would be computed and charged individually on each portfolio, not on the aggregate across all AutoWell Plus portfolios. In this case, if you have one portfolio that is in a profitable position and another portfolio not in a profitable position, we will charge you some fees on the one that is profitable and not charge you any fees on the one that is not in a profitable position. Next common question, how does the fees compare with me doing it myself, DIY? By now, you will be wondering, why is that crap doing that? 
no pun intended, on the crab. This is a photo of the chili crab that I cooked on Saturday that just passed. And I thought I will offer an analogy of chili crab. Everyone can attempt to cook chili crabs. And it's probably cheaper to buy live crabs from the wet market than to pay for one at Melbourne Seafood or Jumbo Seafood. For your information, I bought this one kilo Dungeness crab for $60 at the new fair price extra that opened near where I stay. If you go to Melbourne or Jumbo Seafood, it probably costs you $100 or more. But think about it. Can you cook chili crabs as delicious as Melbourne or Jumbo Seafood? Maybe you don't even know how to select the crabs. They are meaty and they are sweet. Do you even know how to control the fire so that the meat is cooked but not overcooked? And remember, when your crab meat is overcooked or your gravy is burnt, it is irreversible. You try to save $40, but in the end, your $60 buying that crab goes down the drain literally. What I have just shared is a meal, something that you can get over easily. But can you imagine today if this is your blood and sweat savings that you have accumulated over the years? Do you want to risk it if you do not have the time, the knowledge to manage it yourself? I'll leave that thought there. Is there a minimum holding period? No. However, in view of the higher portfolio volatility, we strongly recommend an investment horizon of at least five years. You are strongly recommended to only start investing using AutoL Plus if you have significant idle cash and unwavering holding power. So when you guys get started, and at some point in time, one year later, you start to put in a withdrawal, you'll get a scolding from my wealth managers. What should I consider when selecting the AutoWell Plus portfolios. We strongly recommend that you start off with a portfolio which you are comfortable with and you have a decent, good understanding of. If you have significant idle funds, we strongly recommend that you diversify your capital across multiple portfolios. Remember, there will be periods of market volatility that reasonably good understanding of the investment strategy is what helps you to stay cool and to navigate through short-term market volatility so that you can continue to benefit over the long term. Are the attractive historical returns sustainable? AutoWell Plus is designed to capitalize on long-term macro trends and they are suitable for an investment horizon of at least five years. So if you remember, for example, the future 2050 portfolios, we are betting on multi-decade macro trends of technology reinventing itself and of healthcare resolving the imbalances of aging population. These are intended to be very long run macro trends that you will capitalize on. They are designed to be sustainable over the long run. Now that I have covered most of the frequently asked questions that we have received over the last few days, I will lastly share three simple steps of how you can get started. Step number one, contact your wealth manager if you do not know who is your wealth manager, you know, this is the time where you reach out to us via email, via phone call. Make sure that you reach out to your wealth manager and tell your wealth manager that you want to get started on Auto Wealth Plus. What will happen is your wealth manager will send you a financial advisory questionnaire for you to complete. This step is important because we want to make sure that Auto Wealth Plus is indeed suitable for you. Once you have completed the questionnaire, if the AutoWell Plus offering is suitable in your circumstances, we would then send you a sub-account opening form. Okay, this step is important because we need to set up a separate portfolio at Sexo Capital Markets, tagged to your individual legal name, okay, so that we can track what is AutoWell Plus performance and not be confused by your AutoWell Starters performance. Now, at this point of time, I will also share that one untidy thing, unfortunately, is that today, when you log in AutoWell platform, you would not be able to see your AutoWell Plus portfolio. But for performance tracking, 
you will need to log in Sexo Monitor. The link is shown below. If you need any clarifications, you can always go to your wealth manager. They can guide you how to log in to Sexo Monitor to view your Auto Wealth Plus portfolios. We are working hard to incorporate Auto Wealth Plus onto the platform. So just stay tuned. It's a matter of time they will be on board our platform. The last step, after you have signed the sub account opening form and it has been opened, we will then send you a message to tell you that your account has been fully set up and that you can now fund your AutoWell Plus portfolio and get started. Due to overwhelming interest, we will stop accepting signups at the end of today, 18th of January. If you have interest, please quickly approach your wealth manager to register your interest and to complete the questionnaire. With that, I've come to the end of today's webinar. You may now ask me anything over the next 10 to 20 minutes via the webinar Q&A option. We will continue on this Q&A all the way until about 8 p.m. Also, I will mention that at the end of today, we will be hosting the recorded webinar onto our YouTube channel. If you like, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can follow us on Facebook and Instagram, and you can also join our Telegram community. Uh, if you don't know how to join, please approach your wealth manager. I will also seek your help. You know, please give us your feedback about this webinar, any improvements that we can do for the next webinar. So please scan the QR code and give us your comments. With that, I will now look at the chat, the Q&A, and I will start answering them one by one. I'll start off in chronological order. The first question by an anonymous attendee, can I still sign up for AutoWell Plus after this webinar? Wanted to hear more before committing. Yes, as I've mentioned, the signups are open until 2359 tonight. Due to overwhelming interest, we will be closing the signups at 2359 tonight. Second question by an anonymous attendee, what would happen if I'm in AutoWell Plus and subsequently liquidate AutoWell Starter? We do not have this restriction whereby after you have started AutoWell Plus, you need to keep your AutoWell Starter all the time when you are keeping your AutoWell Plus. Okay, but at the point of entry, when you first start investing into AutoWell Plus, we require that you already have AutoWell Starter. But along the way, if your circumstances have changed, we allow you to liquidate your AutoWell Starter account and to still keep your AutoWell Plus account. Next question, can you give me a comparison of the fees of AutoWell Plus versus AutoWell Starter? Wanted to know how much more we are paying. Let me give you a simple example. If you invest $10,000 on AutoWell Starter, you will be paying 0.5%, which is equivalent to $50, and a USD $18 platform fee which is equivalent to another, I would say $24, $25. So you'll be paying about $70 over dollars. AutoWell Plus, assuming that your returns is double digit, let's say 10%, you will have made $1,000 of profits. For that $1,000 of profits, about $80 will be the annual performance fee that we charge. So in this case, it's a comparison of $70 over dollars to $80. Okay, and of course, you could do your sums accordingly if you do, you know, 15,000, 12,000, so and so forth. Next question, when are the fees charged? The fees are charged at the end of the calendar year. At the end of each calendar year, we will take what is the ending portfolio value and what is the beginning portfolio value on 1st January. We'll do a comparison and see what are the amount of profits if you have made any fund deposits or withdrawals throughout the calendar year, we will be netting them off. Next question, what is high watermark? You can Google it yourself. It is quite complex, which is why we have opted to not have high watermark feature because you will have trouble trying to calculate it. We have deliberately made it simple and easy to understand. Our 8% annual performance fee have taken into consideration what would be a hypothetical high watermark impact and we will have accounted for it by charging a lower annual performance fee of 8%. Next question, are the returns and volatility in USD or SGD? 
when you invest, you will notice that each of these portfolios, they consist of exchange traded funds, ETFs, that are listed and quoted on the New York Stock Exchange, NASDAQ, or the CBOE. All of them are listed on the US stock exchanges. They would be denominated in US dollars, which means to say your returns and volatility calculation would be in US dollars terms. Next question, which portfolio has the EVs, electric vehicles, Tesla in particular? Notice that the pandemic turnaround portfolio would have a higher weightage towards companies like Tesla. It is not exactly towards electric vehicles, but towards lithium companies, towards clean energy companies. And by default, these sectors that I mentioned would cover companies like Tesla. If the fees are marketed to be affordable, what's in it for AutoWealth as a company? You need to go to our website. You can see the link at the bottom right-hand corner, autowealth.sg. When you go to our website you, and you click about us, you will notice that AutoWealth was started with a lot of passion. Our team wants to help achieve the dreams of anyone and everyone out there. Okay, we care a lot about you and we are passionate about it. Okay, so that's really what drives us. Next question by Shu Jing Kong. The performance-based charge will be quite expensive, isn't it? Contrary to what you believe, it is not. First of all, a performance-based fees means that we will be on the same boat. If you do not make any profits, we will not charge any fees at all. So we have a vested interest to make sure you succeed. And we have full confidence that the portfolios which we have pieced together are portfolios that can help you to achieve your aspirations. The kind of fees we charge is not phenomenal. If you look at investment alternatives out there which can deliver double-digit returns, you are talking about hedge funds, mutual funds or unit trusts, you will notice that most of them, the industry average, they will charge 1% annual management fees. Regardless of whether you make a profit or not, they will take 1% away. And then when your portfolio performs, they will take 16% of performance fees on your profits. So today we only charge 8% on profits. This is significantly cheaper than the investment alternatives out there. Next question by anonymous attendee. How is portfolio rebalancing decided? Every single day, we would analyze every single portfolio to see how much the actual weightage of each of the portfolio assets have deviated from the target allocation. If the deviation is more than 3%, we would rebalance it back to the target allocation. What this means is that expect more portfolio rebalancing because these portfolios are more volatile than AutoWell starter. So you will see a lot more rebalancing trades. Next question by James Wong. Will AutoWell change or choose other ETFs from the portfolio in different times for the sake of maximizing returns or minimizing risk? Yes. Today, there are more than 10,000 ETFs listed globally and they are increasing every single month. From time to time, we will screen these 10,000 over ETFs and see out only the best. What kind of factors do we look at to determine which ETFs are really the most optimal for your portfolios? We look at diversification effect. We look at how well it is replicating the strategy that uh, this portfolio is trying to pursue. We look at the fund size. We look at the reputation of the ETF provider. We look at the daily liquidity to make sure that at any point of time, if you need to get out, you can get out at a reasonable price. We also look at the expense ratio. And of course, we will look at the performance. How well has it performed over the last few years and how strong is the persistence in performance? So there are many, many different factors that we will look at. And at any point of time, we will try and make sure that these are the most optimal selection of ETS possible. 
or your auto health plus portfolio. Next question, wow, this one pretty long, three questions in one question. Okay, regarding the investment performance, are the fees already included? Okay, if you take a look at our fact sheet, you will notice that when we show the performance, at the header there it says the historical performance net of fees. We have already taken into account the annual performance fees. What are the risks involved in this investment? Since the ETFs investors are generally quite safe, not including market crashes as that is expected due to pandemic, as stocks will generally hit back to pre-crash levels, possibly companies in ETFs going bust. The risk is really about the strategy that the portfolio is pursuing. Whether or not, for example, the macro trends that we have identified that, that should thrive in the future, whether or not they do indeed thrive in the future. We are, for example, looking at the pandemic turnaround portfolio. We are looking at a strong rebound in the pandemic recovery. If for some reason, the vaccine is found to be not effective or has some side effects that get everybody worried and the pandemic continues to persist and continues to strike fear in everyone, then this recovery is not going to happen. Or for that matter, it may even go down further. Okay, so that's the kind of risk that you'll be facing. If I do not DCA monthly after the initial investment, would it be effective in generating the profits as projected? And how will the fees be charged then? Okay, my stocks will be sold and fees will be deducted from there. Yes, for the users out there, I will say that when you start an AutoWell Plus portfolio, similar to AutoWell Starter, you should always consider doing dollar cost averaging because markets will be volatile and you want to take advantage when there are periods of market volatility. These are precious opportunities that shouldn't be squandered away. I will strongly encourage that you commit to a dollar cost averaging plan. Next question by Kelvin Lim. If I were to diversify across different AutoWell Plus portfolios, wouldn't there be overlap in investments between the underlying funds? The simple answer is, these overlaps, they are not deliberate. If you look at the four different portfolios carefully, each one of them are fundamentally different in the investment strategy. Any overlaps are by coincidence. They are not deliberate in nature. I would strongly recommend that if you have significant idle funds, do consider spreading them across multiple portfolios. Next question. Who owns custody of the ETF units in AutoWell Plus? Is that also in our names with Saxo, just like AutoWell Starter? Yes, you got it right. If you recall our conversation, we have been asked this question a lot. You know, why do we do personal segregated custody account? Because this is one of the highest safeguards that we want to provide to you. In all AutoWell Plus portfolios, the sub-accounts that will be opened will be in your own legal name and therefore only you hold beneficial ownership of the ETFs and the portfolio assets inside that account. Next question, are you using a passive approach in these portfolios similar to AutoWell Starter? I would say yes, the approach is still the same. We have a certain strategy and we want to stick to it because these are strategies that are intended over the long run, but the portfolio will be rebalanced from time to time. And I've mentioned earlier on, if, if you look at AutoWell Starter, statistically speaking, each year you should have about three to four times of portfolio rebalancing, sometimes even more. For example, last year where we have the COVID sell-off, you will see that markets are very volatile. We would have easily rebalanced almost 10 times or even more. For AutoWell Plus, because these are very volatile in nature, therefore there will be even more portfolio rebalancing happening. So that's number one that you ought to know. Secondly, the ETFs that we use, because these are specialized ETFs, you know, they look at specialized sectors, they look at specialized factors, investment styles, they look at specialized industries. There are more than 10,000 ETFs out there. Every now and then, we would screen and to see out which are the best ETFs to still express the investment strategy. If for some reason one ETF has now become the best, 
we would change the ETFs accordingly. We noticed that there are many ETFs that are really neck to neck. And some years, some ETFs will do better and some years, another ETF will do better. If you ask around our early adopters who have started Auto L Plus many months back, they would have went through a lot of changes in the ETF selections as well. Next question, how long does it take to set up the sub account? The sub account takes about one market day to be set up. For those users who were very proactive when they received our soft launch email and they immediately contacted our wealth managers and do the steps of completing the questionnaire and then signing the sub account opening form. Yeah, sub accounts are already ready as early as this morning and some of them have already funded it. Next question by Felix Tan. After the 18th of January sign up, when is the next opening for signups? This is a question which I can't answer you today. We are looking at incorporating more portfolios onto this AutoWell Plus offering. I have also shared in our email communications that because we are co-sharing the risk, we can't afford to take up so much of signups, okay, which is the reason why we have to close you know, when we hit uh, 10 million Sing dollars. In fact, we have exceeded that yesterday, even before today's uh, webinar. But just because that we have already scheduled this webinar and we have promised that we want to share more at the webinar, we have allowed this exception to continue accepting signups until 2359 tonight. How do I adjust for the risk? Now, in every single portfolio, there will be that risk management allocation, that 10% to minimum volatility companies. If you remember, how do we construct AutoWell Starter? It always has an allocation to government bonds. Risk management is the highest priority in our investment philosophy. We place a lot of emphasis on risk management, which is why in every single portfolio, there is that 10% allocation to minimum volatility companies. Okay, these are not intended to give you the, the kind of strong returns that you want, but they are necessary okay, to manage the risk for your portfolio and also to allow us to earn extra returns during periods of market volatility. When the market drops, minimum volatility companies will tend to hold better in value and that allows you to take some profits or to sell a little bit of it when it's overweighted and then shift the funds over to buy the ETFs that are precisely cheap and discounted so that when it eventually recovers, you make extra returns. Next question by a nominous attendee, is it a must to do DCA? No, it is not a must although we strongly recommend that you do so. And the reason I mentioned before is to make sure that you can capitalize on market volatility whenever there's any discounts, you will take advantage of it. Okay? And it will also help you to get an average of prices. And most importantly, it is very disciplined for you to continue to commit to make sure that your aspirations can be achieved. Okay, next question. Future 2050 portfolio has a relatively high concentration on Apple shares and the share price have jumped quite a bit in the past year. Possible to comment on whether will it pose an additional risk to the portfolio? If you, for example, look at the Future 2050 portfolio, a major allocation, 58.3% is towards technology. And because Apple is a bellwether technology company, Naturally, it will have a high allocation to Apple. But you can be rest assured that if you look at the portfolio, the top 10 holdings, it is quite relatively well diversified. You know, you won't see that Apple holding a significantly high allocation that will make you overly concerned. We have been observing and we have been monitoring the Future 2050 portfolio for a long time already. Each time where you have pullbacks in technology and all that, you will notice that it is not really a shocking decline to our users. Okay, so we make sure that it is something that is reasonable and something that our users can start up. This is not like, for example, your 20% Bitcoin crash in one day. When will we have a full launch? We are looking at doing a full launch when our technology interface is up and we have fully incorporated it into the AutoWealth platform. Such that when you log into AutoWealth, you will be able to see the plus portfolios. Currently, you need to log in Saxo Monitor to view the AutoWell Plus portfolios. Next question, anonymous attendee. For those who are deemed unsuitable for AutoWell Plus, 
Will the wealth managers be informing them? Yes. If the way how you have answered the questionnaire suggests that Autogar Plus is not going to be suitable to you, we would have told you so. If you insist okay, that you still want to go ahead, you can sign a disclaimer form to say that you are aware of all the risks. In the disclaimer form, we will list out a lot of the risks for these portfolios. So you need to confirm that you acknowledge this risk and that despite our recommendation, you know, you insist on going ahead. But if you do not feel comfortable, don't just sign for the sake of signing. Please consider carefully whether it is indeed suitable for you. Our questionnaire is intelligently designed that if you answer it truthfully, we will tell you the truth whether it is suitable for you or not. Next question by Isaac Teo. How long was uh, Ottawa Plus tested for before the soft launch? Ottawa Plus has been in the works for a long, long time. We started our early adoption trial sometime in June, July period of last year. And even before we did this early adoption trial, we have went through a lot of rigorous risk management tests, a lot of back tests to make sure that the fluctuations is generally acceptable to people even in the high risk categories. This is not like your Bitcoin where one day you will drop 20%. Huh? It will still be reasonable even though you may have high risk appetite. Next question. If we set up a portfolio, can we down the road set up more different portfolios? Yes. Today, if you come on board the AutoWell Plus offering, it does not mean that you cannot continue to deposit more funds or to make withdrawals. You may do so. So if you want to deposit more funds on an ad hoc basis, please feel free. If you want to do DCA, please feel free. If you want to add new portfolios, for example, today you only start with the Future 2050 portfolio and tomorrow you feel that you start to have a better understanding of the pandemic turnaround situation and you want to express that view and try to get a better return or to diversify risk, you could add another portfolio. So the key is, please, please sign up by tonight. We get asked a lot of times. Let me repeat the same answer. <laughs> the company invests its idle funds into AutoWell Starter and now that AutoWell Plus is up, the company also invests its idle funds into AutoWell Plus portfolios. When the portfolios generate positive returns, this goes towards charitable causes. So AutoWell is built with a lot of passion and we are looking at you know, how we can give back to the society. Today, if you go to the NUS Business School you know, bursary website, you will notice that there is an AutoWell bursary fund. The money that goes to fund this needy student actually comes from the investment returns of our portfolios. Next question, if I have idle funds now, but I'm going to buy a house and to carry out some renovations soon, is AutoWell Plus still suitable for me? I would say clearly it's a no. If you are very sure that you are going to buy a house in the near future, let's say the next one year or two years, and you're going to do renovation, the risk of AutoWell Plus is not going to be suitable for you. Okay, if you read our fact sheet carefully and you read our FAQs carefully, we strongly recommend that you adopt a minimum investment horizon of at least five years. Wow, it's 8.15 already. But since there's still a lot more questions and I can see that there hasn't been much drop off from the participants, I will continue to answer the questions. Let's target to finish this at 8.30 instead. Next question by James Wong. Can you elaborate more about the defensive ETFs in details? Are these bonds ETFs? No, they are not bond ETFs. Autowell Plus is a full 100% equity offering. So each of the ETF holds uh, equity and not uh, fixed income or bonds. So how are they defensive? The minimum volatility companies, the Minvol ETF, sieves out all the companies across the geographic, which in this case is in the US, sees out all the companies that exhibit low volatility in their share price. Okay, which means to say, when you have a period of market volatility, for example, in September or in October last year, when markets went through market correction, you will notice that the mean wall for uh, ETF would stay more defensive than the other ETFs such that they won't drop that much or they would maybe even go up a little bit. And when the drop happened, 
your other ETFs may have strong in value and they may have become discounted. Then we will be shifting some of these overweights in the minimum volatility ETFs to buy the other ETFs to bring the portfolio allocation weightage back to its target. And by nature of that, when markets eventually recover, you will have more allocation and more quantity in the ETS that are discounted and therefore participate in the recovery better and earn that higher returns. Next question by Mano. Should I buy into each portfolio of the four described or allocate funds in some distribution between them? Yes, I've mentioned this. We strongly recommend that you Diversify across multiple auto wealth portfolios if you have significant idle funds. Do bear in mind that each auto wealth portfolio has a minimum investment amount of $10,000. Nonetheless, we have seen some of the users, you know, for example, they want to invest $100,000, you know, so they want to split, let's say $30,000 here, $30,000 there, $20,000 and $20,000. Yeah. So please feel free to go ahead. We strongly recommend that you do some form of diversification. Next question by Hui Fong Ko. My AutoWell Starter account is a joint account. Can I sign up jointly for AutoWell Plus? Yes, you can sign up jointly for AutoWell Plus. Next question by Ace Fu. When is the estimated time that AutoWell Plus will fully launch? We are working very hard behind the scenes. I cannot give you a clear answer today, but rest assured that we are working very hard behind the scenes to do a more fuller launch. Manuk asks, could you please repeat that clause on exit load or exit charges? Can I come out of the fund if required? Is this fund as liquid? Just now I mentioned the fees and charges will be computed and charged at the end of each calendar year. It is not charged quarterly, it's at the end of the calendar year. I will also add that there is no such thing as a penalty fee or exit charge. For example, if you for some reason, some unforeseen circumstances happened, you need to liquidate your AutoWell Plus portfolio. Let's say it's January and you need to liquidate your portfolio. Instead of waiting until the end of the year to calculate the fees and charges, we will take the point where we liquidate your portfolio. For example, if it's today, it will be 18th of January. When we fully liquidate your portfolio, we will calculate what is the profit position in the portfolio and then we will take that annual performance fee of 8% on that profits at that point of time. This method of calculation can be rest assured that it is very fair. Because if let's say that you only invest for 6 months, more likely than not, the markets only have 6 months to give you that kind of performance or profits. By nature that this is a percentage charge, you will be charging on a much smaller profit amount. It is actually fair in nature. Second part of your question is, can I come out of the fund if required? Yes, you can. Is this fund considered as liquid? You own your own portfolios. Uh, let me again reiterate this. This is not like co-sharing everybody buy into a fund. It is not that case. If you have not already realized, you own your own portfolio and you own your own ETFs. So you do not share with any other people. All we need to do to help you when you put in a withdrawal request is to liquidate the ETFs under your portfolio. Any way to show the combined performance for both AutoWell Starters and AutoWell Plus down the road? Yes, for that matter, the reason why we ask you to sign a sub-account opening form is to segregate the portfolios so that you can see separately what is the kind of performance you are making on this versus that. Next question, is each AutoWell Plus portfolio a sub-account? That means if four AutoWell Plus portfolios are selected, we need four sub-accounts. Bingo, that's correct, because we need to track the performance of each individual AutoWell Plus portfolio. Question by Manu, why does pandemic turnaround already have 93% growth in the past three years? Is there real hidden value here? Is the market already too high for these sectors? No. The way how the pandemic turnaround portfolios is being constructed, these are some of the sectors that are badly hit by COVID. And naturally, when the rebound actually happens, you know, these will be the sectors that benefit more than the other sectors. Okay, but of course, it's a risk that you are taking on, whether the recovery will continue to be so strong and it will recover so quickly. Why has it performed well over the last five years? That's because we intelligently proceed out sectors to not 
perform very badly, even though the pandemic may persist. So there's some element of risk management here as well. Next question by Ken Chai. Will Odoa Plus be open for subscription again in a couple of months time? Or is this a one-off subscription event? I would say probably don't bank on us opening it up in the next one month or two. Probably going to take slightly longer than that. Next question. Is there a more cost efficient way to convert 10,000 of Singapore dollars to USD for Ottawa Plus? This one is a generic question. Today, if you want to convert Sing dollars to US dollars, physical money conversion, this is not like your FX trading account where there's no actual conversion taking place. That is actually physical conversion because you need to pay and you need to settle for the ETS. The exchange have a certain clearance and settlement process. You need to have US dollars. Today, the best rates available for physical money exchange is in this building called Arcade at Raffles Place, where it has a building and within two stories, you have like 20 to 30 money changers. Of course, if you go to a money changer, first of all, you get hit by that little bit of uh, exchange rate. And then when you go to deposit money into a bank account, Unfortunately, today the banks will charge you money just to deposit foreign currency. This is the absurd world that we live in. That means to say it is much more cheaper if you simply deposit your SING dollars into the Saxo custody account. And Saxo Capital Markets will automatically convert the funds into US dollars. Saxo Capital Markets is one of the largest FX brokers in the world and therefore their FX exchange rates are extremely competitive. I have not known about any other method you know, that can give you a better conversion rate than Saxo Capital Markets. How is PL calculated? Is it the position at 2359 hours on 31st December each year? It is the market close timing for the US stock exchange on the 31st of December. And of course, if 31st December happened to be a weekend, then it will be the, the market day before that. Next question by Kuma. How will the fees be calculated if after the initial deposit of $10,000, I do regular monthly deposits of $1,000? Simple illustration, let's say that today you put in $10,000. At the end of each month, means to say the first month, uh, 31st of January, you put in another $1,000. Uh, 28 or 29 of February, you put in another, another 1,000. So in total, throughout the year, what you will have put in is $10,000 and $1,000 each month. Your total deposits will be $22,000. On 31st of December, we will look at what is the portfolio value and compare it with your total deposits to then calculate the profits. I will also want to highlight that this comparison will not be towards your SING dollar value. It will be compared against your USD equivalent value. Next question is a variation of the last question. Along the same line, if let's say I deposit 10,000 today and then 1,000 a month, but on 31st December, instead of depositing $1,000, I withdraw $1,000. What this means is that 10,000 plus 11 months of 1,000. But when it comes to December, I will draw $1,000. So in total, the net deposits will be 20,000. We will look at what is the portfolio value on 31st December and then compare it with 20,000 of USD equivalent. Next question by Oliver Calvert. Um, hi, I'm curious to understand in the future 2050 portfolio, why such a huge share, 60% to tech and only 10% to other allocations and why US only? Very intriguing question. Basically, we look at what are the sectors that are likely to perform? What are the long-term macro trends? We know that it's tech and it's healthcare. How do we then determine how many percent allocation to tech and how many percent allocation to healthcare? It is not rocket science, by the way. We look at what is the industry weightage today. If you sum up all the companies in technology, if you sum up all the companies in healthcare, what is that weightage? that derives that two weightage. Within healthcare, it will then be split down into the three different ETFs. That explains the allocation. The second part of your question, why US only? By and large, from a design point of view, we look at more than 10,000 ETFs available 
there's not enough ETFs that are global in nature. That's the unfortunate truth. If there were ETFs in Europe that specializes in Europe tech and it specializes in the Europe healthcare, we would have done a more uh, robust diversification across geographics. But unfortunately, today at this point of time, across the more than 10,000 ETFs available, we do not see such ETFs available. Because of that limitation, that's the reason why it is US only. For that matter, if you look at some of the other portfolios, for example, the pandemic turnaround portfolio, you will notice that some of the ETFs are more global in nature. So by and large, as long as there's global alternative, we would have diversified globally. This is for risk management purpose. And I've mentioned that in our investment philosophy, risk management holds the highest priority. Next question by anonymous attendee. Market is quite high at the moment, right? Cathy Wood said correction coming soon. Is it a good idea to deploy $10,000 now? We don't think that markets are, are high at the moment. I've shared this many a times in social media, on our Telegram community. Do watch our social media and Telegram community and some of our past market commentaries you know, to understand why this are not high at this moment. I'm going to pick three last unique questions. So if I see any repeated questions, I'll just skip them in the interest of time. Based on all the portfolio, which has the most bang for the buck where the uh, losses and profits are quite even out? For example, risk 40% to gain 30% rather than 70% risk for 10% gain. Your question is asking, her unit of risk, which is the which offers the highest return. Based on historically, what is the market data out there? Okay, it shows that the future of digital economy has the highest return per unit of risk. But these are all past statistics. As I mentioned, uh, references to past historical performance may not necessarily be indicative of the future or likely performance. Second last question, will the 8% annual performance fee increase in the future? If you have been following AutoWealth, I have shared this many a times. AutoWealth was created with a lot of passion from our team. We want to help everyone and anyone, so there is no intent to increase the fees. The last question by anonymous attendee. With multiple portfolios now, will you still keep track of market discounts and inform us accordingly? Simple answer is yes. We are here to handhold you and to advise you along your investing journey. So whenever there are periods of market volatility, you can expect that we will share what is happening. Should this be of concern to you or not? Should you panic or should you stay cool? Where there are opportunities for you to top up and to take advantage of market discounts, we will again share with you. That's probably the last question that I have due to the time limitation. I thank everyone for attending our soft launch webinar. I look forward to onboarding your accounts over the next few days and